Welcome to the Eduonix web development series. In this course we'll be learning pretty much all of the modern web development technologies uh, from HTML to JavaScript to JSON to PHP and server-side development um, up into using PHP frameworks. Um, in chapter one we'll be discussing all the basics of HTML and CSS and we'll be talking about the tools to use such as editors, uh, browsers, and we'll go into creating an HTML document, um, the tag syntax, and then we'll look at the different ways that we can add CSS to our HTML uh, inline and through external style sheets. And we'll talk about some of the CSS3 features as well as the new HTML5 features. Uh, we'll be looking at how to create lists, unordered lists and tables in HTML. Um, and of course these days we want to use CSS for layout and only use tables for tabular data. Um, we'll also be talking about and building HTML forms and then we'll have a HTML project uh, which will pretty much put into work all of the technologies that we learned in previous sections. Chapter 2 will be on JavaScript and the JavaScript library of jQuery. Uh, we'll discuss the fundamentals, we'll discuss JavaScript variables and arrays, all the programming basics, loops, conditionals, if statements, uh, switch, and we'll also be looking at JavaScript and jQuery events, browser events that we can grab onto and make certain things happen when an event is launched, such as a click or, or a hover, uh, things like that. And then we'll do a project that will have to do with JavaScript and jQuery. Chapter 3 will be all about data and ways to store and grab onto that data. Uh, we'll be talking about XML and JSON which are similar, they're, they're both used to store and transport data. Uh, we'll also be looking at the differences of the two. We'll be looking at XML schemas like DTD, which is uh, document type defini or definition type document. Uh, and we'll also be looking how to loop through a JSON object and a JSON array, uh, and I'll put that onto the browser. And we'll also look into Ajax and asynchronous JavaScript. So we'll talk about how we can actually grab data from a file or a database or anything and not have the page reload, have that launched asynchronously through Ajax. And we'll go over the the syntax of a of an Ajax script. Um, we'll fetch data and then in chapter three we'll have a project that'll implement all of these technologies. In chapter 4 we'll be getting into server-side scripting and we'll use PHP which is one of if not the most popular server-side language that's available to us. So we'll go over the fundamentals, we will uh, set up our environment. PHP cannot run on a, just a desktop computer, you have to have um, some kind of server, preferably an Apache server, and we're going to set up a program called XAMPP which will give us an Apache server, PHP, MySQL, uh, we'll be able to run all those things right on our desktop machine. Uh, we'll also talk about the basics, variables, arrays, loops, same things that we talked about in JavaScript but things are slightly different in PHP so I just want to make sure that we can make the difference um, in say the rules of a JavaScript variable uh, versus the rules of a PHP variable. Um, we'll talk about functions, we'll talk about including and requiring files so we can include different files in a PHP file. Uh, conditionals and we'll talk a little bit about regular expressions and matching uh, and then finally we'll set up a uh, PHP object oriented project um, just so we can see how to set up the classes and set up properties and methods and things like that. 
Chapter 5 will be, we'll still be dealing with PHP, but we're going to add MySQL into the mix. Um, we'll learn the fundamentals of MySQL, uh, PHP MyAdmin, which is a GUI tool that we can use to manage our databases. We can also run queries right in PHP MyAdmin. Um, we'll learn how to connect to a database through PHP, and we'll learn how to create an HTML form and actually submit data to our server, I mean, I'm sorry, to our database from PHP. And there's a few different ways you can access and, and manage the database from PHP. And one of those ways is MySQLi. And there's a procedural way to do things and then there's an object oriented way to do things. So we'll be learning both of those. And then we'll move on to PDO, which is an extension um, which we can we can interact with the database using prepared statements. Uh, this is really the the best practice these days in dealing with PHP and MySQL. And then we'll have a project where we will, uh, I believe, we'll be creating a task management system using PHP and MySQL. So chapter six will be all about frameworks. Uh, we'll talk about what a framework is and where every language has frameworks, but we'll be in particular looking at PHP frameworks. And we'll take a look at the, the top five and then we're going to choose the Yi framework, YII, uh, to work with it and learn about because it's one of the most popular frameworks for PHP and it's pretty easy to learn. Uh, we'll be installing it and creating an application uh, using the framework. We'll use a tool called GI, which will help us generate our MVC, our models, controllers, and views. And then we'll, we'll show you how to interact with the database. And then finally, we'll have a project where we'll actually create a small website um, using GI. So that's a pretty brief summary of what we'll be doing. We'll be covering web development from front to back, and let's get started.